you need to know. What do I need to know about what? I know what you need to know. I know what you need to know. I know what you need to know. What do I need to know what? You need to know about the NDIS, and I know about it, and I can help you. Who's blowing a trumpet? The NDIS will make life better for people with a disability. The NDIS will make the community more inclusive. Oh, oh. Do You'll be able to choose NDIS what services stuff. you need. Oh. You'll be able to learn new things. You'll be able to do new things that make your life better. Ta-da! Oh my god, who are you? I'm Mr. What You Need to Know, a.k.a. Mr. WB, a.k.a. Mr. Wink. From the NDIS. Oh, too early for this NDIS. Yo. I love to answer questions about the NDIS, the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Go away, get going. I don't want to talk about the NDIS. I've got to have my coffee first. My, these Cocoa Pops taste good! Must be NDIS approved! <laughs> okay, what are you going to tell me about this NDIS stuff? Well, yes. The NDIS is the new way for people with a disability to get the support you need and do the activities you want to do. What do you mean a new way? How will it be different? Let me explain. So the state government used to pay for disability services. Now they're going to give the money to the federal government. And then the federal government, through the NDIS, will tag a certain amount of money for you. And you, yes, yes you, will decide how that money is best spent to support you to live a better life. Really? Yep, but you need to be NDIS ready. You need to be ready, ready. Ready to speak up at your NDIS planning meeting. Ready to tell the planner what's missing from your life. Are you ready? Jeez, you can really squeak that thing. Am I ready? I've got to get ready to go out. I'm actually going to my self-accuracy NDIS meeting. So there. Am I NDIS ready? What do I need to know? Doo -doo. You need to get ready. Ready for the NDIS. You need to know about supports. You need to be ready for your planning meeting. Doo -doo. Support might include making changes to your home. Or you might need help in your home to do some things. Doo -doo. Yeah, I might need some help actually at my place. You might need support to access things in the community. You might need special equipment that helps you get around. Or you might need equipment that supports you to communicate with other people. You might need support to learn new things. Are you ready? I'm actually thinking about what I need in my life. You can choose the things you need to have a good life. But you're gonna need a plan. You're gonna need a plan! So, for to be ready for the NDIS, I need a plan. What do I need to know about making a plan? Yes, to get ready for the NDIS, you need to plan before your planning meeting. You're kidding. You have to be ready for your planning meeting. Ready to speak up about the changes you want in your life. How do I make a plan? Most important thing to know is that it is all about you and making your life better. So, you should say what you want and tell the planner. 
I want to make some changes in my life. I want to do some new things, I do. I'm just sick of doing the same old things I've been doing for years and years and years. It's time to make some changes. Are you ready to make changes to your life? If you go to a day service, you can make changes. You can go less or you can go more. Or you could do something completely different that you've never done before. You can do different things in your life. Jeez. What else do I need to know? You need to know that you can change the things that you do in your free time. What things do you do for fun? I don't do much in my spare time. I go window shopping and I just go to my self efficacy group. But I'd like to do other things too. So tell the planner about the things you would like to try and tell them if you want to stop doing some things. Tell them where you want your life to go and what support you need to make that happen. I'll tell you what I want. I want to go to my friend's place. I do not want my parents or my support worker always to come with me. I need to learn to travel on the train by myself. My goal is to live a good life and to be independent. Tell the planner how your family helps you now and tell them if you want to make some changes to that. Who else could support you? I'll tell you what, I want to learn new things. I want to learn how to use computers. I want to understand the internet and I want to know how to use it better. That's it. You're starting to plan. I'll tell you what else. I want what? to be supported to do more things with my self-advocacy group so I can be involved and to do more things with them. You're planning. You're planning. You're getting ready. Ready, ready. NDIS ready. going to my self advocacy meeting. Hi, Hi Jay. Hi, Well, howdy. Welcome, come in. We are talking about the NDIS. I heard you play a game about choosing the things that will improve your life. Somewhere is going to decide how much money they think you should get to help you do things in the community. So they say that it's going to be your money. So I thought when we do the choosing, you can choose to spend a bit of money. Like you might want to do a bit of canoeing, or maybe you want to go out to the pub, or maybe you want to go to school. That might be a bit more expensive. You're going to have this money. I'm going to give you my hard-earned money and you're going to pretend that it's the money that the NDIS has given you and you're going to go, okay, I want to go canoeing, I want to go do a TAFE course, it might cost a bit more. The NDIS says it is your money and that you get to have a say on how you want to spend it. <coughs> so we're going to practice today. But Mark's going to come along and he's going to pretend that he's buying things. So Glyn's offering surfing, so he might go... I want to do surfing, so he'll give Glyn 50 bucks and he'll take the surfing picture. Okay. So consider each one as we go along and and choose carefully. And so, some of them you might go, mm, I really don't want to do that. So Mark, here we go. Oh, do you want to learn to drive? Yes. Yes? Well, you might want to give $50 over there for the learn to drive. <laughs> and I'll hold this for you. Yep. What about surfing? Yes. All right, well, you better give Glyn some money. Thank you. And what you might want to consider at this stage is that you don't want to spend all your money yeah. before you get to see what's at the end. Okay. There might be something really good at the end. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you can actually just go along and then go... Do you want that one? Or yeah. yeah. All right, so going out with friends? Nah. No? What about a pet? Nah. 
And the next one is that Ron's got is Ron's selling you pottery classes. Nah. <laughs> and Shelley's going, what about relationships, Mark? Are you interested in a relationship? <laughs> Don't know. Don't know? All right, we can you can think about that one. What about Andrew's <laughs> suggesting what about going canoeing? <laughs> I might fall out canoe. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary Ann's got education. Um, so learning could be could be learning anything: computers, reading, yeah. writing, knitting. Could be learning about the history of watches. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. So you want to buy something off? Buy some education off yep. Mary Ann. All right, we'll take that. <laughs> and now Tash has got dance. What about dance? Yeah. Oh, okay. We pay, give Tash some money for dance. Ooh. Is there anything that you, you want to look at again that we might have missed? Yeah. Yeah. What What's missing? What What's ones would you like to choose? Andrew. Are oh, you going to go with the canoeing now? Yes. Who would you go canoeing with? A friend or someone who can swim. Someone can swim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you want to pay Andrew for some. Canoeing? Yeah. Now, Mark, you've still got some money left. Yeah. Same. So, there's some options. You could maybe buy some more things to do. Yeah. Or you might want to save it. You could save it for something special, maybe. Yeah, I save it for something special. What would, you, what would that be? About what would you save for? A holiday. Yeah, where would you go? To Queensland. Yeah, what would you do? Theme parks. Uh, which theme park? Maybe World we'll Sea World and Dream World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to? Oh, would you like someone to be able to look after your money for yeah, you? Thank you. Yeah, trust yourself. No. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give give Mark a clap for being well, 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 well. So, what have we learnt about your plan so far? You'll get a plan of things you can get to help you have a good life. Things like. Support to get ready to find a job. Support to look at where you might want to live. And support to do fun things like learning to dance and maybe joining a dance or social club. What a big day. I'm learning about the planning on the NDIS. Yep, and now you're ready. At your planning meeting, the planner will write down what you want your life to be like. The plan is about you, about what you want. Other people might have some suggestions, but it's up to you to say what you want. It's your life. Yes, it's my life. If you can take a list with all the things that you do now, all the things you want to change, and all the things you want to do in the future, that would be a really, really good idea. Oh, my head hurts trying to remember all this. Don't worry. Ask someone to help you make a list, and you can take someone you trust with you to your planning meeting. It's your choice who you want to help you. You could ask an advocate, a friend, a family member. It's your choice. You can also ask that some people are not in your meeting, if you don't want them. Hmm, I might ask my self agency support worker, or my best friends to help me write those things down. Mm. You're planning! Go, go, go! Yep, I've got it! Make a list! Make a plan on all the things that I do now. And a list of the things that I want to change. And a list of the things that I want to do in the future. You got it! Well done! See you later! See you, Mr. W! Oh gosh darn, oh lordy deary me. I nearly forgot a really important thing. What? If you're unhappy with your plan, it is okay to say that you're not happy. And it's your right to make a complaint or ask for a review. You do not have to wait for your next planning meeting. How do I do that? You can go to an NDIS office or you can phone 1-800-800-110 
or you can fill out a form online at ndis.gov.au forward slash feedback hyphen complaints hyphen reviews. Mm. So now you know some more about the NDIS. It's over to you now. Think about what do you want to have in your plan? What things you would like to do out in the community? What supports or equipment you need? And who do you want to help you with your plan? So, good luck. Okay, see you Mr. W, bye. Goodbye.